Welcome back, DJ Vic Vapor with you, Logic Pro 10 beginner's course. And in the previous lesson, I went over editors, and I just want to take another look at it here because I think I added a few more tracks, and I think there's a little bit better explanation for that. And then we'll move forward and go through some of the other features on the header here. But again, with editors, dependent on which track, audio track we have selected, it's going to give us different options. So on this one, we have the boom, bap, the drum track. I click editors. It gives me all the uh, fine-tuning uh, sound design shapes and choices down here, as we discussed in the previous one. But it acts a little differently depending on which track we pick. So I go to this MIDI track, the classic piano. It's going to give me a piano roll to edit. It's going to give me the score to edit and it's going to give me a step editor. That's on the MIDI track. Now this audio track I have here, I have a little loop sample from the Apple Loops library, Doghouse Beat. If we click there and we're under the editor, now we can actually edit the WAV file itself, either through the file or from the track. So I just wanted to clear that up. I know in the previous video I just did the uh, the drum portion. I felt like we needed to make sure we were understanding the difference between preset, MIDI, and audio. So let's move on. Over here we have browsers, Apple Loops, notepads, and list editors. So let's take a look at browsers. This is where we're going to find all the files on our hard drive. Let's click all files. It's going to give you a list of whatever is available on your hard drive or you can search your hard drive. Media is all the media related to iTunes. You've got audio and you've got movies. So if you've got movie events on your hard drive, it'll be available for you here. And then all the audio you have listed and organized through iTunes will be found through here. Project information is, of course, files and waveforms and everything that's already here in the project. We've got audio file, edit, and view. This next button is Apple Loops. It's all the loops that came downloaded with the uh, DAW itself when you installed it. And depending on if you chose to get the additional uh, content that we talked about in the previous lesson, um, you can see here I've got 1,319, but there's thousands more I'm sure if I was to continue downloading all the additional content but you can browse through here and you can actually just by clicking on one audition it you'll get the sound so the Apple loops actually come ready to go and in tempo and ready to ready to fit into the project so that's kind of a nice little feature. You don't have to worry about anything. They're, they're already ready to roll right into your project and be in tempo with whatever you have set on your main screen here. And then, of course, you can kind of browse through and micromanage it a little bit and look for any uh, tags associated with uh, specific sounds that you might be trying to find. Kind of metadata, more or less, is what I was getting at. Here you can put notes on your project, and you can do that in two ways. You can have a, a project notation for the complete project that you're working on, or you can individually note each track. So if I wanted to put notes on each individual track, I could do that here. Maybe something like you know, EQ settings, or I want this only in the break. Just, I don't know, whatever notes you feel like are necessary for your project. Maybe if it's a for me, oftentimes it's a project I'll, I'll get started and then maybe move away from and visit, revisit in a few weeks or a month. And it's nice to be able to open up the uh, note panel here and get an idea of what I was thinking about on each one. And finally, we've got uh, along this section here, we've got the um, list editors. And again, that's we've got a chance for event lists numerically, notes, keys, markers, tempo, and time signature. 
so additional information for you right there. Let's move on to the next lesson and continue looking at the rest of the header and discover a little bit more about some of these other features that we've yet to see.